So Victoria currently has two youth justice precincts, one in uh, Parkville in Melbourne and one here at Malmesbury. A lot of young people in, in youth justice custodial centres in Victoria come from a lot of very diverse backgrounds. Most of them come here from uh, disadvantaged families. Most of them have suffered complex trauma for most of their life. Many of our young people haven't had positive influences in their life, so it's up to us to be that role model. So that's where we step in to try to show them the different side of things. A good YJ worker is someone that can develop a rapport with the young people, and that's um, especially important when you need to de-escalate a situation. You've got to set firm boundaries with a lot of these young people. They like uh, structure. Teaching the young persons new things about themselves and show them the right way so that you can be able to achieve good outcomes with them. A major part of our role is to challenge difficult behaviours and to maintain a safe and secure precinct. The big difference between a youth worker and a youth justice worker is the young people have been sent here for committing crime. It's quite difficult, I guess, uh, dealing with young people coming off of drugs. They seem to self-isolate, they just want to be left alone. The role of a youth justice worker can be very unpredictable, knowing that um, the environment is very dynamic. Although it's a custodial type of environment, we try and keep it as normal as possible by taking the young people to programs, school, sporting events, mixed programs. There's daily compliance that has to be completed. Uh, there's room searches. There's case notes, reports that we need to do. And this outlines everything that the young person may have done during the day. So on the case management side, we're able to engage with our young people a lot more. We're able to attend their care meetings, uh, understand their background, their history, and just help find how to support them better. We also respond to codes that could be just minor codes from a verbal argument between two young people to a physical altercation. We are the first to respond to serious incidents, however we do have an emergency response team. You obviously have to feel comfortable in your surroundings and um, and have faith in your team. That's the, the biggest thing. Teamwork's massive in this job. There's seven weeks of training where you learn tactical operations and also the safety aspects to the job role. There will be times where you will have to back yourself and know that you can do the job. You need a certain level of maturity. That doesn't mean to say you have to be over 40. Life experience counts for a lot. And just having patience, resilience. Some empathy towards the, the young people. And also giving them respect. You're not here to judge them. They've already been judged before they come here. The greatest satisfaction I'll get out of working here in youth justice is seeing boys develop and learning new skills. Being able to watch them make positive choices and take responsibility for their actions and me being a part of that. I live just under 40 minutes from Malmesbury, in between Malmesbury and Melbourne. And even though the distance is a little bit further from Parkville, I find that the cruisy freeway drive door to door and no traffic is an advantage to working at Malmesbury. All around the local area, it's a really laid back country environment. There's a lot of community groups. There's plenty of activities you can do up here. We have a, a wonderful team of staff around us and we look forward to more of you joining our team. Although it's not essential, it's good to attend the information sessions where you can learn more about the job role of a youth justice worker. Whether you want to work in Melbourne or regional Victoria, Parkville and Malmesbury are great places to work and I encourage you to apply. Authorised by the Department of Justice and Community Safety. <laughs>